All right, welcome back. We're on day 11 of the E46 turbo build. Uh, and today we're gonna be getting the block all cleaned up. So let me show you what we're gonna be doing there. So we're gonna start by cleaning off the deck surface. Uh, get all this old gasket material off of here. Should be pretty quick. Uh, we'll come down to the bottom side. We'll do all the, all the mating surfaces for like the oil pan gasket and the timing cover. Uh, and then after everything's all cleaned up there, we'll degrease it down, pressure wash the block out, make sure she's clean. Uh, and after she's all pressure washed, we're gonna come in here with the honing tool uh, and we're gonna deglaze these cylinders, get them all ready for the new piston rings. I don't know how well you can see it, I don't have a lot of light on this right now, but uh, the cylinders look really good. They still have cross hatch in them. So we don't have a ton of work to do on the deglazing, but we just wanna take that shininess out of the cylinders. Make sure that everything's happy so the piston rings can bed in properly when we rebuild it. Uh, we're also going to be cleaning up the oil pan and the timing cover. A uh, bunch of dirt and grime there. I want to get all of this stuff ready for paint. So it's going to be a fun one today. Uh, we'll finally get on with the engine, get the bottom end all ready to go back together. And we should have the bottom end put back together over the next few days. Um, it's just going to be a matter of getting, uh, getting all the engine parts cleaned up. So let's get to cleaning up this engine block and I'll kind of walk you guys through on how we do it, uh, what the process is and all of that. So to get all of the old gasket material off of the deck surface of the block, uh, we're just going to be using some brake cleaner and a red scotch Bright scuff pad, uh, real fine grit. And we're not going to use too much pressure or anything like that. You get away with using one of these uh, as long as we're not going to sit here and dig into the block. We just want to get all the material off. So. We'll just kind of take a pad like this, brake cleaner, and just kind of hit it a little bit. And start working that old material off. Not too much pressure. Uh, don't be rubbing on any of the edges. Don't take it and rub into your cylinders like that. Uh, and again, a pad like this, this thing's not taking any material off of the off of the deck surface of the block. So I know there'll be plenty of guys out there say, oh my gosh, you can't use that. The thing needs to go straight to a machine shop. Uh, and there was nothing wrong with this engine before when we took it apart. So there's really no need to make sure that this is completely flat because we know that it is. We had a, we had a properly functioning head gasket before. Um, so we'll just sit here, we'll take our time, and we'll get this whole surface cleaned up. We don't give a fuck, give a fuck, give a fuck, fuck. So a little bit of elbow grease. Uh, towards the end there, we were using WD-40. Uh, just kind of helps lubricate, slide things around so we're not digging anything out. Uh, but obviously, the deck surface is way more clean. It's not perfect yet, and it doesn't need to be. Uh, we got a few little spots like that. Um, and then obviously these tabs here, but they're not even under the gasket. So. so now that we're done cleaning up the deck surface, let's roll the engine over. We're going to clean up the oil pan surface. Uh, and then after that, we'll come to the front here and do the timing cover surface.
Okay, so quite a bit better. Obviously not perfect. Uh, but again, we're going to do the same thing that we do to the deck. Uh, we'll bolt the timing cover up and we'll go across with some 220 uh, and some WD. And we'll just get all of this nice and, and brand new looking. Uh, we'll do the same with the timing cover surface. We'll pull these guys out and we'll just go across the whole front of this. Uh, and make that look nice and shiny and new as well. Uh, so now we're going to be moving on to getting it pressure washed. I got to pop the bearings out and the jets out real quick, uh, and then we should be go to get her all washed up. <laughs> Okay, so block is washed for the first time. Uh, it came out pretty good. Again, this isn't gonna be the last time. This is just kind of like a, a baseline wash just to get all the junk off. So I'm gonna get some oil down in these cylinders so they don't start to rust. Uh, everything's pretty well dried off. And then we're gonna get to honing. Okay, so now we got the cylinders all oiled up. Uh, and we're basically just gonna use this guy here, a uh, little, little honing tool. You throw it on the drill, go at like a, a medium speed uh, up and down with some penetrating oil and we're basically just going to try to get all of the crosshatch back right everything's a little shiny right now uh, we want our rings to bed in properly so I'm going to dial this tool down to a low setting uh, everything measured up within spec well within spec so I'm not trying to I'm not trying to to put anything back into round or take any material off uh, I just want to give it that that nice crosshatched look again and again, uh, we, we're doing this to make sure that the rings bed in properly. Uh, we don't want to run into any kind of oil consumption issues right away uh, or even down the road. So we need all that crosshatch so that the, so that the rings can bed in uh, and they can form to the cylinders how they need to. So let's get this guy fired up. Uh, we'll get it down into the first cylinder. Maybe we'll start at the back. Uh, and we'll just go up and down, work slowly, uh, medium speed, and just keep it even. After about 30 or 40 up-down passes, we'll come out. Uh, we'll stick it in the soapy water, spin it around, clean it up, dry it off, uh, oil everything back up. And if, uh, if we need to go back in again, we will. And we'll just make our way down the line until everything's good to go.
Okay, so that went pretty smooth. Uh, we're all deglazed, honed, whatever you want to call it. Don't bother me. Um, and yeah, you can obviously see we've got all of our cross hatch back. There we go. That's some good light. And the cylinders don't look so shiny uh, and glazed over anymore. All we got left on a few cylinders is little marks like that uh, at the top of the stroke, and I'm not worried about those at all. All throughout the rest of the cylinders looks really nice, so I'm not going to go up and down and up and down just to get those out. So at this point, the block is pretty well cleaned up, a whole lot better than it was when we started the day. Uh, again, we'll be pulling the dowels out uh, and going over the deck surface, make a nice ceiling surface. We'll do the same up here uh, on the timing cover surface, just get some of this grime off. Uh, old gasket material yet. And then we'll do the same on the oil pan. Uh, let me flip the engine over again to show you guys what it looks like from underneath. So it cleaned up real nice on the bottom side. I'll have to get in here with like toothbrushes and a few things and just get all of this all clean, scrub it all, all the little nooks and crannies. But it came out pretty good with, uh, with very minimal cleaning earlier. So uh, this block will get washed again, uh, just real lightly gone over and then she'll be good to put back together. So we're really not far off on this at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, pretty straightforward, nothing too complicated, but definitely needed before you're gonna, before you're gonna reassemble anything like this. You gotta go through, clean it all up. I still gotta go back through, I'll measure out the cylinders one more time. I'm certain they're gonna be okay, but good measure, we'll measure them out again. But other than that, I'd say the block's about 90% there, ready to be put back together. Just have to finish up the deck surface. Uh, oil pan gasket surface and timing cover surface. Uh, aside from that, just some, some minor cleaning really on the outside, uh, a little bit on the bottom side, but that's no big deal. We'll just use rags and then just get in there into the nooks and crannies. So we'll be putting her back together sooner rather than later. Uh, still have to polish the crank out. That's not gonna take long, probably do that tomorrow. Uh, we'll also get to the oil pan and timing cover tomorrow. I know we didn't get to it today, just kind of ran out of time. Hopefully over the next few days, we'll start getting parts thrown back inside this block, so stay tuned. Definitely don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, turn your notifications on so that you don't miss our new videos. Engine build is about to start going underway, so gonna be a lot of interesting stuff there. Follow the build on Instagram at Beamer Cody, and certainly get your entries in to win the car. Uh, BeamerCody.com, pick yourself up a t-shirt, a hoodie, Anything that you pick up on the website is going to get you entered into win. So don't miss your chance. Head over there, get entered into win. You're not going to want to miss out on this thing. I know she don't look like much now, but we get the right tires, suspension, get it wrapped, uh, and then obviously get an engine in her with a turbo. It's going to make for a really, really fun car. So I'm going to get everything cleaned up for the day, get inside, uh, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hey. With me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide.